all right welcome to the sorcery starting guide i'm gonna start this right away but before i start make sure to like and subscribe we're super close to 10k let's start off with actually leveling up so the way you level up you literally just go in here and you'll start off with a mission i'm going to show you guys how to do just about every single type of mission and how they work all right so we got to find and carry all the hostages this is the one i was low-key hoping for because when i first started this i did not know about an integral feature which is curse sense like i'm not gonna lie i didn't read this so i i kind of just ran around the entire village and i could not find a hostage but what curse sense is is it lets you see where the hostages are what you want to do is spam e and n so let me just do that the way this game's curse sense feature works is i'm not gonna lie it's kind of weird there we go so like it took me a few tries but it'll show you a bunch of different dots on the screen some of these are going to be curses and some of these are going to be hostages just completely avoid the curses go for the hostages because with the time you have you're not going to be going to be able to get everything so yeah what i usually do is i scale up here every single map has a way for you to avoid the curses so don't worry about it literally just scale the sides or find something and don't get hit by them because if you get hit by them you're gonna have to fight them so don't want that to happen because these guys are going to jump you and now we're just gonna use the same exact method that we, that we used to get back Yo, what is my english today we're gonna use the same exact route that we used to get there to get back and we're gonna drop them off at the rescue point i'm gonna be a bit careful because i know the curse spear is near here so i might get jumped and as you guys can see it'll say one out of three and we just want to pop our curse sense once again so this is literally just spam e and n Honestly, I'm going to use it closer because it does only last for like five seconds. So you need to make it count. Obviously, you can just continue spamming it. But like with how inconsistent it is, your time is probably going to go down at like at least 50 seconds by the time you get a use. Yo, one thing I really like about this game is the movement feature because climbing in this game is low key kind of sick. There's the, oh, there is a curse here. Oh, shoot. So I don't know how the fuck this man hit me. But once I'm in combat and I try and oh, shoot and I try and run with this. Oh, wait. All right, so apparently you can just run away and that did not touch me at all. I'm like 150 ping. I'm not at the ping where it should be like lagging me this bad. Okay, what the? <laughs> Yo. Yo. All right, we barely managed to survive. What the fuck? I'm like a bar. So I'm going to just grab the last one, Loki. Is that a curse? That is a curse. I, I got gripped. Whatever. So I am a bit laggy today. Um, usually these aren't too hard. Just you want to make sure to avoid their crits. I'm going to teach you guys how to actually properly fight them. Just make sure you're not, you know, spiking to like 500 ping. All right. Now I'm going to do another mission. I also got kicked from the server while I was trying to do one because they've shut down like 10 times today. If you guys don't know why you're getting kicked, they're just continuously shutting down the game due to some issues. So don't worry about it too much. By the time this video is out, it should have probably stopped, but like just in case, you know. All right, I was hoping for a different map, but we did get a good mission, which is just clear the curses in the area. My ping, I'm not gonna lie, it's still pretty mid, but oh, never mind. I got a good server now. It's time to get the get back, bro. There's the curse spear right up there. So the main thing that you really want to watch out, like you could literally just know, I don't really have any specific cheat methods, but the only thing you really want to watch out for is the crit because everything else is honestly just really easy to parry. The crit though, that shit, like when he just pops, it just dash back. I'm like what I'm doing. Like I'm a celly right now. Oh shit. Okay, bro. I hate that crit so much. That's the only thing that makes me die to these guys too. But yeah, aside from that, they die super fast. Like I'm level 43, so I know I do a bit more damage than I do have the katana. But like the difference isn't too crazy. You guys will still be able to kill them relatively fast. And once again, once you kill one, you just want to go up here and then press E and N and now we get to see where the others are also make sure to not fight multiple of them because i'm not gonna lie getting hit with like two or three crits you guys saw in the last one i know i was laggy but no matter what they're always going to like do like half your hp but yeah when you see the crit just roll backwards aside from that you just want to parry normally like is it too much to it oh, shoot parry that and boom these guys do not have a lot of HP, but like they get really scary once you're fighting them with only fists without any moves. And um, what's it called? Like there's like four of them on you. That's like the worst scenario. And then just, all right, hold up. Oh yeah, the air crit. Let me just show you guys, not the air crit, but like the aerial attack in this game is low-key kind of sick. You can cheese with this kind of like, just run away, engage with the aerial attack because they don't, I don't know why my dash ain't working there, but yeah, they won't really be able to do much about it. But like the main thing I would say with that is just, as you guys can see, like I missed there a few times. And if there's multiple of them, you're kind of just going to mess yourself over. So yeah, once the mission does end, you just get teleported right back to the hideout, killing the demons 
or the curses is not too hard it's pretty easy just make sure to not have multiple of them on you so just aggro them one by one there's one last mission i want to help you guys complete all right there we go find the curse object and engage it and it's a different map so pretty much use your curse sense find the object which for me i couldn't find but i do know where it usually is usually you just want to go up here just continue spamming curse sense till i get in the range of the object all right there we go You'll see something like this, my bad if you hear background noise, but once you see the cursed object, you just want to hover over it, press G to engage, and you want to make sure the yellow bar stays full while the seconds are counting down. And during this time, you can also get jumped. I've ju I haven't been jumped personally, but I have jumped another player during one of these, so be careful. I think this is one of the only PV PvP. Yeah, I was about to call it PvE. I think this is one of the only PvP missions. I'm bugging right now, but yeah, this isn't too difficult, honestly. Like, at a certain point, also, like... Oh, wait, let me just spam it. At a certain point, you should be completely fine. Like, you're going to be guaranteed to win the mission. But just make sure it's always at a relatively high amount just because somebody could jump you at any time and then you don't want to have to do this while they're jumping you because you're just going to get cooked right check the server list as well in between just so you know if somebody spawns in or something and the damage you lose from this before uh in original testing it was actually a pretty noticeable amount like you still healed it back but like now it's completely nothing i don't even think it takes hp anymore this used to take hp so yeah, you can literally just spam it as much as you want. Just make sure to check here in case someone joins. All right, luckily I was not jumped in this process. So my timer is going to go down to zero. And there we go. I completed the mission. And I also got a ton of goblets, which I can actually use to sell, which is the next thing I'm actually going to be showing you guys. All right. I don't know why it spawned low HP, but anyways. So we want to talk to this guy right here. His name is the merchant, obviously. So you want to say, I want to sell my items. Hold out the item you want to sell. Oh, I don't even have to hold it out. Okay, bet. So you can just sell all. And with this, you get money. And then with money, you can do a few different things. So I want to go over all of those. First and foremost, I believe. This lady, Shoko. I'm not 100% sure if she takes money, but this game also has a feature in PvP. You can lose limbs. So let's say if I lost an arm or a leg or something, I would talk to her. It might be free, but at the same time, it might take money. I'm not 100% sure. But if you do lose limbs, you want to talk to her. <clears throat> if you guys want to drip yourself out this is pretty much the only thing i bought so far you can buy a bunch of different outfits here aside from this similar to deep poking guys if you have skills which i do have ghost last year you can actually level them up and i'm going to show you guys how to get skills as well so pretty much you just talk to her level two can you pay a sum of 100 essence which is this you don't have the gem oh yeah you need gems as well which you can also just find in missions. You get them for completing the mission, so don't worry about it too much. I think they can be underground, but usually I don't remember finding any underground, so they're probably not there. And then stand on this bed. And here you will have skill points available, like I'm level 45, and you can invest skill points into different builds. As for what build is meta, if I'm being completely honest, I have no clue. But... I think strength and agility are both really good. For your cursed ability, you'll have a different set of skill points. So you don't need to worry about investing into that. You can just invest into your normal stats as you would. And then for your cursed ability, you will, no matter what, always have every single move for that. Does that make sense? I don't currently have it unlocked because I'm still like mid-level. But yeah, this video is not really going to be going too heavily in depth into that. This build, I'm just going to try and boom. Now we got 25 and now i can just learn it and i press space to exit and now i have rising blade in my hotbar can't use moves here but yeah if i were to upgrade it i would go to here i still don't have any gems sadly here's the open world thing i just went through the gate um i'm 99 sure this is still not in the game but when i went here i was pretty confused i only learned in through the discord i believe that uh, you literally just can't do anything here. This literally just a train station. So you just stand around here till the train comes, which it should right there. And now it's going to TP me back eventually. So you really can't do anything here. You can't interact with cursed spirits or people of the opposite race outside of missions, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, aside from that, there isn't too much to it. The only way you can really progress is to just spam missions. I will say, though, the missions are pretty fun. And at a certain point, you get to do PvP missions and ranked. That's probably like the main appeal of the game right now, which is literally just PvP. So uh, yeah, aside from that, man, thank you for watching the video. If you guys have any, any more questions, comment them below and I will help you guys out with those. But uh, yeah, that's it for the video. Oh wait, shoot, I forgot one more thing. 
all right re-rolling your curse technique and ability so yeah you want to go to mahito you will have curse tickets the way you get these curse tickets you can get them through missions so normally they'll drop in your inventory like that then you just turn them into mahito i unfortunately don't have any but we'll just use a code to claim we put you guys onto a code here it is he posted an announcement slash e new code so i'm gonna just pop it here redeem 50 curse tickets are they in my inventory okay so with the codes they just automatically get transferred here but essentially i like the percentage with my curse ticket oh i want to turn in more curse tickets as you turn in your curse tickets to mahito so if i had like 20 or 50 in my inventory that i got from missions i need to turn them in and then they're automatically stored and saved here if you don't turn them in you're going to lose them and then with this you can do a few different things obviously change the color of your cursed uh next thing is i want to reroll my clan so i got which what is my clan actually oh no i'm not going to do any of this right now i might reroll my innate domain or i can't i can't reach the scroll wheel and when i try and scroll it's like it's not letting me go to the reroll curse technique bro no <laughs> yo for devs watching this bro please i, I can't i can't touch this okay but yeah aside from that like Clans actually do something this update. I'm not 100% sure what they all do. We don't know that yet. They haven't given us that information yet. But once we do, I will make a video on that. But aside from that, there's literally nothing else in the game right now. I'm not going to lie. The way you get everything, I'm pretty sure it's through missions as well. And the only other thing is actually obtaining your curse technique that you get at grade two. I might make a whole separate video on that, but that's its own process. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.